Some things I wouldn't do over the summer holidays if I was aiming for an A star in A-level physics, chemistry or biology. I wouldn't go through whole past papers. You're not going to be at the top of your game because you've just had a couple of weeks rest from year 12. What I would do though is be really thorough and go back through old assessments. It's really hard to do, it's quite challenging to look at where have I fallen down, where have I lost marks. But have you lost marks for not understanding content? Is it exam techniques slash silly mistakes? Is it making sure you're on top of your timings in exams? If it's content based, Go through the specification, make sure you know it inside out, highlight anything you're not too clear on, and make sure that if anything comes up in a future exam question, that you know how to answer it. You'll also want to make sure you're going through whatever method you've been using so far, like Anki or flashcards or sort of active recall, space repetition. Those methods will all work and you should be learning to do some of them over the summer for year 12 context. Otherwise, you will forget it because six weeks is a long time. If it's related to exam technique, again, I wouldn't just plow through past papers. I would find a topic that you find really tricky and have a go at the hardest exam questions you can for those. Usually new specification um, and the idea is to get yourself really, really, really on it in terms of what is a question asking me command words all that stuff if it is timings then that might be the one case you want to do a whole past paper or at least like a certain section of a past paper with really strict timings on yourself one thing I really do if I was aiming for A and A star is to have a look at some resources to do with problem solving. This mainly applies to physics, but also applies to the other sciences as well. So three of my favorite ones are looking at physics Olympiad questions from past years. They really help problem solving. They help you understand how different parts of the course link together, test your math skills as well. You've also got the PAT, which even if you're not applying for Oxford or Cambridge, is, to, is a aptitude test in physics. And it's designed for similar reasons to help you like really find out how different problems questions are answered how do I go about answering certain questions that are really not to do with the spec um, but I can use information I know to solve them um, and one other thing is Isaac physics Isaac physics is really really useful um, you can find topics there if you look um, I would just do the challenging ones don't do the um, applied ones um, and the idea is you can try different types of questions that aren't on specifications there aren't on old exam papers um, and they will help you really test your brain out